What is going on, everybody? This is episode 23 of the Slayer Pure series, and this episode puts me one step closer to that super awesome achievement of 99 Slayer on this 86 combat account. I got a lot of stuff to get through in this video, so I'm not going to hold it against you if you don't want to watch the whole thing, because it's probably going to be long, but let's get going. So in the last episode, I got level 95 Slayer, which allowed me to unlock the Hydras, and I was so excited to kill Hydras on the alternate account. Well, let me tell you, I am not excited to kill Hydras anymore. So I got my first Hydra task, and I was like, oh, this is great. This is great. I got a Hydra task. And then right after that, I got another one back-to-back. -back. So I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. You know, I got another Hydra task. I got Aberrant Spectres in the Catacombs of Karend after that. Decided to cancel those. And then I got Hydras again. So at this point, I'm kind of like, oh, uh, wow. More Hydras, so okay. So I finish that task, and then I get a Dust Devil task. And well, wouldn't you know it, after the Dust Devil task, I get another Hydra task. And I almost canceled it, but I'm glad I didn't, because I got lots of good stuff from that final Hydra task. And throughout this whole level, I got almost the entire Slayer level of 95 to 96 at the Alchemical Hydra. Killed over 600 Hydras for 842,000 Slayer experience. Took me a while because the kills are really slow on the alt, but hey, I got through it, got some good loot, and we'll check that out in a little bit. Double black tea hide bodies. That's cool. I am most certainly dead if I screw up here. Got plenty of food. Why didn't I eat? I don't know. I just, I just didn't. Whoa, why is it over there? Whoa. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm alive. Onyx Pulse, yes, dude. Nice drop, nice drop. 323k. And a rune plate body and plate skirt. What a good kill, dude. 400k kill. Damn, man. Jagex wasn't messing around when they put coin drops on this beast. Oh my god, double rare drop table? Are you f serious? Wow. 100 silver or 67 Nats. You know, this was getting really boring until today. I was just about to quit. So glad I didn't cancel this task. You know, it's like I want to be mad that that was a crappy drop, but I just, I just can't. Not after today. Not after the day I had today. Ow! That hurt. Hey, 96 Slayer. I didn't even know I was close. Like, I haven't been paying attention at all. I did not even know I was close to that. Wow, dude. Back to back to back dragon battle. Dragon battle axes. Yep. Three in a row. 621. 620. 620. 619. What are the odds of that? Um, oh, there we go. God damn, why does this death animation have to be so long? Somebody at Jagex needs to talk to somebody else at Jagex about shortening that stuff. Ooh, more onyx bolts. I like, I like. Alright. Task is over. And this is probably the last Hydra kill I will ever do on this account. And not lucky on the last kill. But, I will tell you why this is probably the last Hydra kill that I will ever do. Bam. That's why. That helmet right there is why I will probably never do any more Hydras on this account. Yeah, the pet's cool, and it would be cool on a level 86, but the helm is all I wanted. It took me over 550 kills. Actually, I think it was over 600 to get the Hydra heads, and they're at 1 in 256 drops. But I got them, 
and I am happy with that. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at my collection log for the Hydra. So I've gotten eight out of 11 uniques and I never get drops while I'm at home and I can record. I got all of these freaking drops while I was at work and yeah, I just, I have no luck while I'm at home. Whenever I'm at work, all the drops. Just give me all the drops since I can't record, but when I'm at home, get nothing. But even still, I mean, that's not bad. No jar, no throwing axes, thank God. Uh, no pet, oh well. Got the helmet, happy with that. So yeah, like I just said, never lucky at home, but I did manage to grab a screenshot of getting the Hydra Claws drop. Uh, it was the last kill on my trip, so I teleported out and made sure I grabbed the screenshot in Edgeville. Uh, you can see there in the chat box, it says 20.9 mil. Well, that is not what it's worth. The Grand Exchange hasn't quite caught up to what the price is actually actively trading for for the Hydra's Claw. But yeah, there is the screenshot. I managed to grab it for you guys just so you could see. Also managed to hit another milestone for this account throughout this episode. 99 hit points, which is my third 99 on this account. And third out of five that I'm going for. All I got left is Slayer and magic so yeah 99 hit points now done and out of the way so now that i got that 99 hit points come over here and buy this super fancy hit points cape can i buy a skill cape of hit points from you of course i will pay that much money for such a magnificent cape so there's the 99 hit points cape level 86 combat pretty cool some of you are probably like, why didn't you get an untrimmed hit points cape? Well, because I'm not that much of a baller. This is good enough for me. All right, so from here on out, we'll go ahead and get into the normal stuff of the Slayer Pier series episodes. First up, hit points. Last episode, I was level 97, so I managed to get two levels on the way uh, to 99 in this episode. Lots of experience, but glad that is over with. Level 99 hit points, finishing that skill off. Up next is going to be Magic. Magic, I ended up getting three levels since the last episode. Finally got around to using those 10,000 nature runes that were sitting in my bank. Used all those for high alchemies. And I also bursted a Necrails task in the Catacombs of Karen. Got me up to level 86 Magic. So three levels from the last episode. And last but not least, the Slayer skill. As you saw in the clip earlier, I am now level 96 Slayer. Three more levels to go. These levels are super long now but we're close I'm almost done with this account can't wait to get that 99 slayer cape on this account all right so now we're getting into the loot from 95 to 96 slayer and I am warning y'all now I am gonna ramble this was an awesome slayer level uh, mostly because of that hydra claw but I'm giving you fair warning I'm gonna ramble if you don't want to listen to me ramble <laughs> turn off the video now all right so the first thing is first I uh, checked out the bank from my last video to compare the runes 18,000 chaos, 17,700 deaths, 13,900 blood runes, and 16,700 astral runes from the Hydra. That all came out to be like 12 mil or something. And then the Hydra drops tons and tons of noted herbs too. So 200 renars for a 1.35 mil stack there. A bunch of catentines for 687k. Uh, 249 grimy snapdragons, 2 mil. 153 grimy torstals for a uh, little over one mil there bunch of renar seeds for 835k and i happen to get uh, a Salastra seed drop from the hydra which is pretty rare it's actually rarer than the claw so i kind of missed out there but hey i got one claw uh rest of the stuff here 1890 dragon bones from the hydra 4.4 mil plus picking up all the bones from the hydra itself 6.6 .6 mil and all these dragon med helms 52 dragon med helms i remember back in the day i got my first dragon med helm from the kbd and i sold it for like 2.1 mil they're a dime a dozen now imagine if they were still worth 2.1 mil that would be a crazy stack of dragon med helms 40 dragon long swords 2.3 mil 27 Dragon Battle Axes, 3.2 mil. And all in all, I got 41 drops of the rune sets at the Hydra, 24 with legs and 17 with plate skirts. Also had 2,415 Dragon Bolts enchanted, so 1.1 mil there. And 605 Onyx Bolts E, uh, 5.2 mil from that. 10 sets of the White Mystic, which came out to be just about a mil. 
Uh, I had 96 drops of the Mystic Water and Fire Staff. So those were 2.4 mil each. So just around 5 mil just from his battle staffs alone. And then 697 uh, unfinished battle staffs there for 5.8 mil. And then into the juicy stuff here, I finished the one brimstone ring, which came out for 7.1 mil. Unfortunately, I didn't get the last heart for a second ring. That would have been cool. One Hydra Tail, or whatever that is, 264K, not worth much, kind of useless. A Hydra Leather for 6 mil, and that awesome Hydra Claw. Now, that isn't the price that comes up. Uh, when you price check it, it's actually around 21 mil or so because the price checker hasn't actually caught up with the GE. So I actually sold the claw and put the correct price for what it sold for in here. So claw ended up selling for 96,825,001 GP and dragon knives, 1.9 mil there. So total from level 95 to level 96 Slayer, I did over 600 Hydras, four tasks, 178 million. 342,457 GP and I pretty much doubled the bank on the Slayer alt in just one Slayer level from 95 to 96 so that is freaking awesome. Alright so last thing as usual check out what my bank is looking like so up here at the top 325,044,507 GP GP so 325 mil I went back checked the last episode my bank was at 176 mil before this Hydra task so I increased my bank in one Slayer level by 148.6 mil which is freaking awesome I mean I know the Hydra Claws won in 1000 so I did get really lucky but that is the power of the Slayer skill that is the money that you can make you know just out there on a whim but anyways so currently right now I'm sitting at 168 mil on the cash stack. I don't really need anything else to finish out 99 Slayer on this account. I have everything I need. So that cash stack is just going to keep growing. Uh, my hopes were to get this bank over 250 mil by the time I hit 99. Uh, I'm just blew past that with that Hydra Claw. Uh, a couple upgrades that I did get uh, throughout the past couple weeks. I did go and get a Brimstone Ring because I have been doing a couple raids here and there on this account. And I also went ahead and upgraded to the dragon crossbow over the rune crossbow because I had a little extra money. And that definitely helps in raids because you can use the dragon bolts. And then, like you saw earlier, got the Hydra Slayer helmet eye. Looks really cool sitting there in the bank. Really happy with that. And it'll be pretty cool fashion skate with the uh, Dusk Mystic set. Uh, other than that, don't really have much else to show you guys. Everything else remains pretty much the same except for this runes tab here. The runes tab sitting at 18.6 mil. Haven't really decided what I'm going to do with all the runes. I don't think I'm going to sell them. I actually think I might use them for bursting some magic levels. Maybe get that up since I have so many laying around now. Uh, as far as everything else goes, same old jewelry here. Got this stuff here that I'm saving until 99 Slayer. I guess we could take a look at that. 44 Dark Totems. 81 crystal keys actually 85 when I put those together and got some other random stuff in here uh, This is just kind of like my fun tab Potions that need to be decanted junk tab and this is the loot tab that is currently empty except for three of those same few serums Don't know why they're in there, but yeah, so that is the bank 325 million GP after level 96 Slayer Okay, so I lied I almost rendered this video without doing this and I totally forgot I saved the brimstone keys that I got from 95 to 96 Slayer. I ended up with 19, which was kind of low. I think I only got like five from Hydra in 600, almost 650 kills, which uh, brimstone keys are one in 50 from the alchemical Hydra. So I only got five. I should have got like 12 or 13 or something like that. But yeah, so I got 19 of those. So let's go ahead and see what I get from 19 brimstone keys. Oh, <laughs> the first one is a broken dragon hosta. Wow, okay, I guess I'll take it. Uh, second one, 436 coal. Uh, 327 coal. Three torstal seeds, not bad, not bad. 128 dragon dart tips, nice. 430 iron ore, not so nice. 28 uncut rubies, again, not so nice. 376 coal. Five renar seeds, pretty cool. 114 gold ore, two rune plate legs, 33 uncut diamonds, 61 dragon dart tips, again nice, 
Five Renar seeds. Awesome. Five more to go. 11 Rune Ore. 106 Dragon Arrow Tips. Pretty good. Five more Renar seeds. 28 Uncut Rubies. And 102 Gold Ores. So let me get rid of that. <laughs> this guy's banking. All right. So let's see what I got from that. 2.1 mil from the brimstone keys that I got. So a little over 100k per key. Not bad, not bad. So I'm going to go ahead and sell that and we'll add that to the bank. So my bank is actually around 327 mil. Last thing I want to do is give a shout out to this guy, Oz, that hangs out in my Discord on a regular basis. He is chasing the Vorkath pet and after 10,000 kills, he still does not have the pet. And this is the screenshot from saving 10,000 kills of loot, 1.44 billion. Now he did say that he is missing the manta rays and the cash drops from Vorkath, which probably would be an additional about 50 mil to this loot tab. But yeah, 1.44 billion props to you for hanging on to all of this throughout all of the 10,000 kills. I mean, this is just an incredible loot tab. I have never seen anything like it. You know, good luck on the pet. I hope you get it soon so you can leave that wretched place. All right, guys, that is going to wrap up episode 23 to the Slayer Pier series. I know it was a long one, but I had a lot of stuff I wanted to get through. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up down below. They really help the video's popularity. And if you haven't done so yet, you can tap that subscribe button on your way out. Make sure you turn that bell icon on. It'll let you know whenever I upload new content. With that, guys, I will see you on the next episode. Take it easy, everybody.